Hi guys, thank you and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about a couple of strategies that I've been using to help get through this difficult time. Obviously we know the coronavirus is happening. Um, I don't need to get too much into that at all. I just wanted to share a couple of strategies that have been helping me through it all. And on a side note, I would like to thank all the first responders and everybody that has been working very hard during this difficult time, our nurses, grocery shop workers, I could go on and on thanking everybody. So thank you to everybody who is out there, who is helping. I have been lucky to be home, you know, working from home, but I know people don't get to do that. So I just want to say thank you to everyone and let's get started. So I want to start off with showing you um, what I use daily, what I've been trying to use daily is my food journal. So this is just a simple food journal I got off of Amazon. I think it was like $5 and it says today is the day. It's a food and fitness journal. So I've been trying to use a food and fitness journal just to keep track of what I'm eating, how much I'm drinking, and if I've been exercising, because I know during this time it's very easy to over snack and overeat, and I know that I've definitely been doing it to some degree. Um, so I've been trying to use this journal to help me be a little bit accountable. So I'll show you the inside. So at the top, it's just the date, and then you can write how many hours you slept for, and then it says, today I ate, and it'll go through breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks are on the side, how much water you had for the day, and then you can total up your ounces at the end, um, how much exercise you did, if you did any, and then you either had an awesome day or I can do better. Um, and this is nothing that's out of obligation. It's just something to help keep me accountable. Um, you know, knowing, did I have enough water for the day? Did I get some exercise in? Whether it was, you know, a 20 minute walk, a 10 minute um, little exercise at home, just something to help keep that accountability piece. And so I don't get in that habit of overeating under eating because that is a thing as well um you know not getting my heart rate up and get my blood flow going during the day because i don't want to get in the habit of just laying around and and doing nothing i know for my mental and physical health that is something that does not help me is just to sit around so that's one of the things that i've been using um another thing that I've been using another strategy as well is an affirmation journal. So this affirmation journal I got at Five Below um, probably a couple of months ago. And I'm sure you can find an affirmation journal anywhere um, online or you can make your own. You don't have to buy an affirmation journal. Um, and basically, so this one says, today I affirm a journal that nurtures self-care and it's exactly what it is. It's a journal that nurtures self-care mentally, um, you know, physically in the sense like you're writing down what's kind of going on in your life and things that you're thankful for, um, positive and negative things that go on because not everything is positive and not everything is negative. So I will show you the inside. And this has just been helping... Um, you know, with daily anxieties, I, I really try to write some things down. I think it's just good for your overall mental health, especially during this difficult time um, and putting words on paper. I find that that's really helpful. So I'll just show you one of the examples. These pages are all different in this book. So it says at the top, today I affirm. And on this side, it says in order to blank, I must blank. So for example, something that I might put for my own personal self, everybody puts whatever they want. You know, everyone is different. I don't want to compare anyone because every single person is different. So for me, in order to, for me to lose weight, I must 
work out and eat healthy. That is one of the things that I would put on there for myself. And you really can put whatever you want. It's your journal to write what you want. Um, some of the other pages look like this. Dear self, you know blank, love self. And at the bottom it says, today I affirm. So I might say, dear self, today you know I am strong, yada, 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 whatever I want to say. And then at the bottom it says love self and today I affirm I will be strong. It's really any kind of positive affirmation that you're telling yourself. And a lot of what I try to do is put positive things, you know, especially in this time, it's really easy to get stuck in, you know, that negative thinking. So I like to do a lot of positive affirmations, like things will get better, things will be okay, I am strong, I am positive, um, a lot of those kind of reflections. And there are days where you are going to have negative reflections and that's okay, it's, you know, it's only human. So um, those are some of the things that I've been using um, to write down. And another couple of things that I've been doing that have been helping me is exercising. So I know this is, you know, one of those topics that people do or don't like or feel indifferent about. Um, but I highly recommend just getting your body moving in some way, whether it's going for a walk or doing an in-home workout or going for a run. Um, just anything to get your blood flowing 10 to 20 minutes every day. It doesn't have to be a 60 minute full blown hit workout every single day. That might just not be your lifestyle. You have to work whatever works for you into your lifestyle. Um, so today I had the time so I chose to do a 45 minute workout for myself but not everybody's going to be able to do that or fit that into their lifestyle. So I just recommend getting your body moving for your own health. It's not really about weight or anything. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, just for your own mental and physical health. Get that body moving and flowing and going. It's a lot of rhyming. So um, exercising. And then lastly, I would say something else that's been helping me is more of like, you know, picking up some hobbies. So typically I'm working an eight to six o'clock job. I don't have time to, you know, focus all my time on hobbies and then weekends I'm busy doing other things. But because I have so much time on my hands now, um, I am working from home, but I have space in between to do other things. I have been focusing on drawing and I am, starting to take up a little bit of photography, um, whether it's just going on a walk and taking pictures outside and putting it in some kind of Instagram or album of any sort, just picking up a hobby so that and making this time meaningful for myself. Um, it's so easy to just sit in bed, lay, do nothing, watch TV, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I found, especially for like my mental and physical health, that's not something that's suitable for my lifestyle. I need to be doing something pretty constant throughout the day so that I stay busy, so I mentally and physically stay healthy. Um, so I, I recommend just picking up something that maybe is new, a new skill, a new hobby, something that makes you happy. Don't force yourself to do anything that you're miserable doing and hate and feel obligated to do because that's not going to help you. Um, so that's kind of it. Just those couple of strategies that have been helping me and I hope they help you. Please do what works for you. Don't feel like you have to copy what other people are doing because that's not realistic. Do what works for you on your time and your schedule. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below, like and comment and share too. Thanks. Have a good day.